guys, this is Greg Doyle here for Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. Um, I'm coming to you guys with the second fighter in my Ones to Watch series. Um, those of you who caught my first video, um, my Scottish fighter of 2020 to watch, it was Aberdeen based uh, Dean Sutherland. Please say Dean's had his first fight of this year and won an impressive unanimous decision. Um, and Paisley at the weekend there, so congratulations to Dean. Um, the second video that I'm coming to you guys with now, I am now going to focus on my UK Ireland um, prospect to look out for in 2020. So I've had a look at everything guys, I've had a look at a lot of fighters. Um, for me there's one fighter that stood out. I've had the pleasure of seeing this fighter live. I've seen him live um, in Glasgow on an MTK show and I was very very impressed which led me to read more into the fighter that I'm about to mention and it just seems that there's a lot of positive vibes coming from that camp and the fighter in general. So without further ado, um, my fighter to watch for UK and Ireland 2020 is Limerick welterweight Paddy Donovan. Um, as I said, I seen Paddy in Glasgow. Um, he was taking the distance, but he was taking the distance by a journeyman who, with all due respect, I think the minute Paddy started landing on him, he uh, would rather have been anywhere else but the ring that night. But as we know, these journeymen, if they go the distance, they can fight again in a few weeks and make their money, etc. So they have to be applauded for that. But um, I was ringside that night and I saw Paddy fight. Um, I think the, the journeyman's name was Mendoza. I think that he fought. And Paddy is a southpaw. He's only 21 years old and he's currently 3-0 um, with two stoppages as a pro. When I seen Paddy that night. I was very, very impressed. Um, even for Mendoza backing off and not really wanting to be involved. Paddy's shot selection and slick technical ability really blew me away and um, he's got very very fast hands and a really interesting point that I want to cover is Paddy is actually trained and managed by former world middleweight champion Andy Lee. Andy Lee for me is one of the most knowledgeable men in boxing um, I thoroughly enjoy his commentary, I thoroughly enjoy hearing his thoughts at ringside etc and I think that that's a fantastic step by by Paddy to get Andy Lee, um, get him on board in both a managing and a training role within his career. I think it's fantastic. Um, Paddy had a stellar amateur career. Um, I've seen various videos of him stopping kids in the amateurs from... Formerly being an amateur boxer myself, I know how difficult it is to stop someone. Um, don't get me wrong, even with the head guards and the gloves, the punches are still pretty sore. Um, but to really stop someone and put them down, etc., I think you've got to punch really, really hard to be able to, to do that. And that was something i seen Paddy do on numerous occasions. Um, as I said, Paddy's a southpaw. He's a welterweight. He's a baby. He's only 21. Um, I'm expecting big, big things to come from big things. I think that he really could be Ireland's next star. Now, looking at these kids, um, I do have to point out that, and they'll already know this, that talent alone is not enough. It's about mentality, it's about character. But from looking at kids like Paddy Donovan, it's all there. It's all there already. They just have to see the job through and keep grounded. Um, if Paddy can do that, I've got no doubts that he's going to go very, very far in his career. Um, he's a welterweight at the moment. Will he stay as a welterweight? He's only 21. He's a kid, so he could get bigger. If he stays at welterweight, that is a really, really exciting division um, for Paddy. And I think with his talents, he could be in some really, really exciting fights going forward. Um, as I said earlier in the video, Paddy's uh, um, his career has only just begun as a, a professional boxer. He's three and over two stoppages, but um, I would like to see him have a, a busy two thousand and twenty. Reading up in Paddy, I seen that there's a high possibility that he could be on the undercard 
of Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury over in the USA, which if he can nail a spot on that card, that's phenomenal experience, phenomenal experience, um, and the very best of luck to him if he does. But guys, keep a look out for um, Paddy Donovan this year. I think that you guys will be very, very impressed if you've not already seen him. Um, I'd go as far as saying that inside the next three or four years, if he keeps going the way he's going, he's going to be Ireland's biggest star equally alongside Michael Conlon without any problems. I'm very, very impressed by him. But um, just to recap then, guys, my fighter to watch UK and Ireland based this year, I'm picking Paddy Donovan, welterweight, 21 years old, 3-0 as a professional with two stoppages. Um, this is video two out of three, guys. I'll be bringing you guys one more. Uh, the next one will be my world prospect to keep an eye out on for 2020. But my name's Gregory Doyle. I write for Eat, Sleep, Box and Repeat. You can catch us on all social platforms. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Check out our website. Check out the YouTube channel to see more from myself. Thanks again, guys. Take care.